Hey guys, we're here in the old town of Istanbul. Behind us is the Hajj of Sophie. Two on four, colon is very good. It's me, Christina. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Christina. You scare me. <laughs> <laughs> We're on our plane and ready to go to Amsterdam. A little bit of a headache getting on, but a little clear up of customs on the way onto the plane and no issues. Here we go. All right, guys, we're in Amsterdam, waiting in the Aspire Lounge for our flight to Istanbul. I think we have a two and a half hour layover, which is just about enough time to sit here in the lounge for an hour and then go find our flight. See you guys at Istanbul. Istanbul, we just landed. I think we. Mehaba. Mehaba. That's a hello, right? <laughs> That's hello in Turkish. Hello in Turkish. Mehaba. Yes, we made it. We are tired, but we made it. Now we just uh, see if we got any customs to go through and see how hopefully that's good and easy. And then get out of here to our hotel to sleep. We've been traveling for 20 hours straight. It was a long day of travel, but we're here. The lounges really helped. It's nice to stop at the lounges. And we'll show you the hotel when we get there, guys. All right, we just got through customs here in Istanbul International Airport. Super easy. You just need to make sure you have your visa already filled out. It costs 50 bucks. Have your passport ready. And did they check our vaccination cards? Not we here, but we show them in yeah, Amsterdam. Yeah, we, we needed to show them in Amsterdam. So bring them with you if you need them. And if you're all ready, it really wasn't that hard to travel. Just a long day. <laughs> not the only one, the first one, but I can't tell what he's selling. I think it's crackers or pita sort. water. to our hotel checked into our room and here it is it's the the first room we're staying in it's the renaissance hotel it's nice well equipped we booked it for 81 a night i think yes it's got a safe it's got a safe a little closet mm -hmm. i'll tell you these rooms in europe are way smaller than rooms in the states well, that's all right yeah, king size bed, really nice. Breakfast was included, right, babe? Right. And the internet. And internet, and Wi Fi. We just left the hotel to go find something to go eat. There's a couple of restaurants right outside of it, but not nearly as many street vendors as I would have wanted. So I think we have found an Italian place up here we're going to go check out. Recording. It's recording the cheesecake and the baklava. I'm going to pick one. All right, we found a restaurant to eat at. It's called Mado. It has all sorts of food. We just had the menu. It's giant, like the Cheesecake Factory menu. And they also have an English menu if you scan the QR code. All different types of baklava and desserts here. And what do you get, folks? We got a cheeseburger because uh, you wanted one and you knew what it was. I want cheeseburger. It's called cheese and, <laughs> and I got some sort of beef wrap. 
and we're gonna see how it goes. Ben's got his food. What do you got there? It's some um, pork sausages, and it's a little yogurt milk, and a little spicy sauce on top. And we're gonna try it. Well, that is really good. That was probably one of the best cooked. It's like a meatball, super flavorful and juicy. The yogurt sauce and milk spot on. I think the, the red sauce is like a roasted tomato, red pepper. It's really good. Chris got her cheeseburger and it looks wonderful. Chris got a cheeseburger, it looks spot on, nice fresh baked bun. And I got like a little steak wrap here with a side of fries and a little side of salad. And we're gonna dig in. Are you gonna try it? Tastes exactly like a Philly cheesecake almost. Do <laughs> you think his first baklava in Turkey? What do you think? How like is it? it? It's not, it's this one is definitely not as sweet as any American baklava I've ever had. And it's really good. I'm gonna try this one next. Mm -hmm. One last. Your favorite. That tastes a lot more like an American baklava. Maybe a little softer. And this one is another uh, pistachio baklava. And you're supposed to turn it around to eat it? Uh huh, sure. <laughs> Which one do you like the most? Mm. The one he recommends us? Either this one or this one. This one tastes like a normal baklava you're used to. And this one almost has like a fruity thing going on in it. I'm not sure what it is, but they're all great. Hey guys, we're here in the old town of Istanbul. Behind us is the Hajj of Sophie, which was built in 537, is that right? Yeah, Hajj of Sophia was built in 537. By the Eastern Roman Empire, and it was originally a uh, church, and then it was turned into an uh, Orthodox church, and then it was a Catholic church, and then it was a mosque, and now today it stands as a museum and still a mosque. Yes, in 2020 it become a museum. Right, after uh, refurbishing, I think. And then around here on the other side of us, is the Sultan Park and on the other side of it is the Blue Mosque and today I think we're just going to walk around the old town area check out the sites a little bit get our bearings for the city go to the bazaar go, go to shopping. the yeah, maybe get up into some of the bazaars and do some shopping Eat some good um, Turkish food like a baklava <laughs> and ice or a kebab cream. or a donner or, or something so we're gonna go check out the old town and see what we find and explore a bit. We just walked in the entrance here to the Hajja Sophie. Sophia. Sophia. Over here, Sophia. It looks like a foot washing station, a religious thing. And I believe you need a head covering. Yeah, women need a head covering and guys can't wear a hat. So not sure if I can record inside, so I'm gonna put down the camera for now. So we're in the Hajjab of Sophie, and as you can see, there's already, you can tell it's a, it was originally built as a Christian temple, because most Muslim temples don't have any depictions of people. Ready? More covered. Yeah. All right, so this is the shoe drop. You're not allowed to wear your shoes inside any mosque, so you, Take them off and leave them. And wow, these domes are absolutely amazing. scale and size of this building. 
especially when you consider it was built in the you know the year 530 give or take said I can join. We yeah. find our tour. Ah, oh, we did? They said that the men pray the first floor mm -hmm. and the women pray on the second floor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's in most mosques. This one's a little bit different though because it's also like a public museum. Will be when it's complete. The first floor will be the mosque, and upstairs will be a museum where they're refurbishing a bunch of the artifacts. And now this floor is just the best way. All right, so we checked out the Hajj Sophia's, and we found our tour group. Actually, we caught up to them. We're about a half hour late getting down here, so I think we're gonna join the tour group and have us show them around Old Town for a little bit here. Oh, cool. Some of the old pieces. It looks like there was a collapsed courtyard here or something. It's amazing how old these buildings are and they still stand, huh? Well, 1,500 years ago. Well, we caught up to our tour, tour group just outside Hajj Sophie, Sophia. And now we're walking to the next attraction, our tour guide. It's actually really helpful to take these free tours. It explains all sorts of different things, like we just learned that the evil eye that you see, it's used in a lot of uh, jewelry, is original Turkish culture before uh, most Turkish people adopted Islam as their uh, religion. Right there is a Hajj Sophia, and right behind it no. here is Top Topkapi. Topkapi Palace. Maybe largest. And now our tour guide is going to give us a little information about it. Yeah, we're inside the palace. It has a giant courtyard, all sorts of different little buildings you can actually go into. Just over that way, you can overlook to the uh, Asian side of this temple. And our tour guide was explaining to us some of the sites on the other side, including the tallest building and the brand new mosque they just built, which is the largest mosque in all of this, in all of Turkey. It sits over 63,000 people. All right, so we just finished a little explanation and tour of the palace courtyard here. The first courtyard is free to come and visit. Uh, if you want to go see the rest of the palace, there's some red booths over there where you can go and buy a ticket. It's 285 lira to visit the entire palace. You can see the Sultan's quarters. You can see there's a, a museum here, the harem quarters and all that. We might come back and do that on a later date. And in the background there, you can hear the call to prayer. On to the next stop. Only for the guys. Only for the guys, it's yeah. For so, so the prayer is going to start in one hour. Mm -hmm. All right. On to the next stop. On the back side of Hajj Sophia. And that's the gate right there that you go in to get into the pass castle. And that is the marble fountain for the namesake of the street of Marble Fountain Street. All right, right over here, there's a museum pass sales center. It's right in between the Hajj of Sophia and the Blue Mosque. And the pass is good for about 10 different museums. And it wasn't that much more expensive than buying. It was actually a lot cheaper than buying all the museums separately. So it's not a bad little pass if you have time. How much was it? It's 360 Turkish lira for 10 museums. Right. And, and the, you can see them in 10 days. And the palace by itself was 280. So it's really the way to go if you're going to go see any of the museums. We might end up buying it later in our trip. I'm not sure. All right, and back on with the tour. So this building right here is the Turkish bath, sort of between the Hagia Sophia and the Blue Mosque. Our tour guide was saying it is about 100 euros to go check it out. And if you want to try a Turkish bath, she would really recommend finding a more local place. She said there's one over by 
one uh, one street, one uh, train station away, away from here, and it's like 30, 30. to 35 dollars. So we'll see if we have time to try a Turkish bath. Sounds a bit different. Okay. <laughs> and now we're going to see about the Blue Mosque. We are taking photos. All right, we're walking around the original. How do you call it? Hydrodome? That's not the right word, but it's a horse racing track that was put here by the Byzantine Empire, which was the Eastern uh, Roman Empire. We'll have neat history here. Like again, tour guy explained it, all these free walking tours are great. Especially if you're gonna be in a city a day or two, you can take the free walking tour, get your bearings, get an idea for the place, and then go do your own thing. Uh, the other thing we've noticed is there's restrooms placed about, so sort of nice. Keep a couple uh, Turkish lira coins on you because you have to pay for most of the public restrooms, we've noticed. One lira. One lira, yeah. And uh, other than that, so far, all the toilets I found are Eastern toilets, so get used to using them. You can see the original street level when this horse racing track was put in was way down there and now it's like 10 feet up higher if you go and look at this other oh, there's the call to prayer right there I like the door of this house and here they have the mosaic and we're losing the group we're going down I like how those trees they go up and down like San Francisco right and here there is a hotel and there is two cars in both sides who are blocking the whole street so there is six cars all right we finished up our free tour and they now are, they are praying here we're walking towards the grand bazaar or at least we think we are it said it was 1.5 kilometers away and we're trying to make our way there now this street is so narrow And this is what we mean by San Francisco. This street is probably at 15 degrees or more. It's crazy. We're a little bit more of like a local neighborhood, I guess. And <laughs> trying to find, follow our GPS to the Grand Bazaar. In fact, this street just ends right here and it turns into steps. Hey babe, you keeping up? Um, the mini market. All right, we think we finally found the right road to go to Grand Bazaar. You can see there's a tram that runs up and down it. It's raining a little bit today. Well, not too bad, just a little light sprinkle. This temple is really neat so far. Like everywhere you look, there's an ancient building, a mosque. Do you want an ice cream, baby? No, thanks. Something. There's something to look at and to see on every corner, everywhere. All right, we finally found it, the Grand Bazaar. No idea what entrance we're going in here. There's something like 20 or 22 entrances and exits in and out of the Grand Bazaar. So let's go get lost. All right, we just entered the Grand Bazaar. Looks like a little reconstruction down that way. All the way there, all the way there. As you can see, it is all enclosed. That's why you're supposed to wear a mask inside the Grand Bazaar right now. It's indoors. But not everybody wear a mask. No, not everybody's wearing them, and it's probably not. Smoking, it's something. probably not that well enforced. And it's really, really busy. Tons. A lot of these uh, candy stores, they'll give you a free sample in. Turkish delights and baklavas and jewelry stores and jewelry stores and jewelry stores. <laughs> I wonder what there's more of in here, candy shops or jewelry stores? 
jewelry stores. Probably. This park's called the Antique Market, the Old Bazaar. Wow. And you do, you walk into like a different looking building on this side. It's all brick. Beautiful, so beautiful. Let's go this way, I guess. Okay. Another one of the cool type of shops here, these little lamp shops. I wish we can get one in our suitcase. Fredo just break on the way home. <laughs> I like, shops. I like these jackets. Clothing shops. This place just goes on and on and on. We are so lost in here. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, we got pulled into one of these little candy shops here to this try some like Turkish this, delights this and this have a cup of tea. And the whole you keep trying and trying and trying. What is this? And this in this store, draws? a kilo of Turkish delights is 144. Yeah, no, no, which is like uh, 16 like, 17 dollars for a kilo one, like, which i guess isn't bad not, really you're buying the experience so and all these little stores it's all the shop good. owners are very 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 nice this is good. Yeah. i know which side you like now no i cannot call him lady no. No. don't give it to him no more no okay there's a trick he has i think to show us uh oh Christina, smell this one. Okay. This one, just many flower, okay? I like it. Yeah, this one, if you put one with some hot water after two minutes, it's open big flower. You open like this one, it's very good for mm -hmm. kidney stone, for colon, it's very good. Smell Christina. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Christina. <laughs> you scare me. <laughs> This one for you. Thank you. <laughs> what was your name? What? Abed. What's your name? Abed. All right, we just left the bazaar. God, that place is crazy. You get lost in there so fast. We don't even know. We were just walking and we walked outside of the bazaar. There was an exit right there. And now uh, we don't know where we're going, but we saw a min minaret, one of the towers are on the side of these large mosques and we figured it was something cool to go see so we're going to walk towards that so this is that famous photo location on the rooftop that you see in a lot of instagram posts you get all dressed up they got fancy location on the rooftop overlooks the city and we're not going to go do it <laughs> <laughs> right now we're making our way back to the what was it golden horn harbor Bridge. huh on the bridge. Yeah, to the Golden Horn Harbor to cross over the bridge to go back sort of to the new town back where we're staying currently. Sort of a neat walking tour of Istanbul, just checking all the different shops and the feel of the city. Another one of those crazy walking streets. They seem to go straight down. It's like 50 stairs to get down this little back alley walking street area and of course all along the way there's all sorts of trinkets and things to buy did you buy. see the eye babe oh, they, they hey baby sell, they sell the evil eye baby the color one the color stone. <laughs> those ones aren't but all these are those colored steps yay we find the steps this is where i was taking you i knew where it was the whole time Yes, you knew it and you brought me right absolutely, here. Absolutely, absolutely. Brought you straight to the rainbow set. I want a picture when you get down. Okay. All right, we're just walking around, decide we're hungry enough. So we stop at Huma Cafe and fast food to grab a little bit of a kebab. I got a beef kebab, just got a chicken, and we'll see how it comes. Although I tell you what, these little tiny cute Coca-Cola bottles are absolutely adorable. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, babe. So I got a beef sandwich with tomato and lettuce and some fries on the side and Chris got a little uh, chicken wrap with a little bit of fries on the side and a coke and they were what like 20 each which is four bucks less than four bucks it's not bad for a little snack we just uh, finished up a little lunch that we found ended up walking like I don't know probably five or six miles around Old Town checked out the Blue Mosque and the Palace, and there's so much more to see here and do here. But we're tired and it's hot, and we have another couple of days to check out Old Town and explore the sites a little more in depth later on different days. As for now, I think we're gonna grab a taxi or an Uber. Oh, by the way, the Uber app absolutely works. It probably charges you American prices, but it's fine, nice and easy to use. And we're going to grab one and head back to the hotel to relax for a second before maybe going out a little bit later to check out things a little closer to the hotel. Farmers markets and vendors and shops. I mean, it's slow in Istanbul right now due to Corona. 
but it's absolutely packed. There's the Blue Mosque over there, and Hajib Sophia. Sort of straight ahead through these buildings is the Grand Bazaar. And I think sort of this area is known as the Spice Bazaar, the Egyptian Bazaar. And this is the Sultan Somali, I think. I'm probably butchering that. Mosque, there's just so much to see and do here. You just, you just get caught up and immersed in it. This place is crazy, crazy busy. Look at traffic just backed up. <laughs> see if our Uber can get here. Hey baby, you know something? It's the first time I've ever been to Asia. Yeah. First time. First time in Asia. You have to put this on in your mouth. Right. So we just passed through the Bosphorus Tunnel. It is forever long. And this is my first trip to Asia, I guess, right? First time I've been on the continent of Asia. So that's sort of different and neat. Yeah. And now we're going to drive around to the bridge, which is a little bit further north, closer to the hotel, and hopefully avoid a bunch of the crazy traffic in Old Town, Istanbul. And hopefully this longer detour doesn't cost me too much of a fortune. We just left the hotel, decided to go out for an evening stroll, and we decided to walk down to Taksim Square, which was, oh, Google Maps said it was an hour walk. And it's actually really enjoyable. Lots of vendors, lots of restaurants, tons of people out on the street. It looks like it might. It's unbelievable how busy Istanbul is. People, people, people everywhere, huh? Yeah, Uber. Uber is starting to become a bigger pain than I would like it to be. So we might have to try that that local car service. Uh, we downloaded it. Do you remember what it's called? Yeah, taxi, something like that. So maybe we'll try that tomorrow. But in the meantime, we're going for an afternoon stroll. Another burger place. There is a ton of burger places on this strip. I think uh, Turkey really has a thing for a hamburger and they're a bit different. They taste a little different than an American burger, that's for sure. Oh, flower vendors, tons and tons and tons of restaurants everywhere. ATM machines, if you need cash. Hot tea vendor. Ooh, lottery. Guys selling lottery. And see what I mean? This is what I mean. This is busy down here. We just turned down a different street. And as you can see, the whole street is just lined with cafes. And they're all packed. Even during Corona, Istanbul is an absolute zoo. People are on the streets. Although I think our tour guide was saying that this week they went from red to a blue status with Corona. So that might help. And you always got to watch crossing the streets because trust me, drivers get extra points when they hit pedestrians, I think, in Turkey. <laughs> Istanbul has all of these wild animals and they're not very wild people put little house cats up for them and food and water and they are just everywhere in fact the state even pays to have them spayed neutered and get all their shots since most of these apartment complexes don't allow any pets there's almost like a city pets if you would i guess huh all right guys we finally made it to taxim square it's just on the other side of that statue behind us this place is bustling and going on but our gopro pro battery is going to die and we're tired and this is the end of the night i think we're going to grab an uber home maybe walk around a bit more uh, today we just want to walk around the city get a feel for it we didn't really go into any museums or anything like that um, in the next couple of days, we will do like spend more time in each place. Tomorrow, we're gonna buy the Istanbul card and we're gonna take the uh, Metro? Get the card. No. Yeah, we're gonna get the uh, museum, the museum pass, pass too because it definitely right. seems like the way to go. Save a lot of money. And we can see like 10 museums or something. Right, it covers 10 museums and it was 
300 and some odd uh, Turkish lira. And some of the museums by themselves are over 200 to go in. So, so tomorrow we're going to see uh, all the mosques. Yeah, maybe and, not all, but um, we'll go into some of the mosques more and start using our museum card. Selling corn on the street. Is it boiled? Yeah, they're boiling. So cool. Chris finally decided to get an ice cream, eventually. Sometime today, Christina will get an ice cream. <laughs> you got your ice cream, baby? How is it? Okay, how is it? Because the train is coming. Oh yeah, check out these cool trams that run down the middle, like San Francisco, huh? Sorry. Sure,